Greetings friend, I have a special treat for you today. I challenged Lucian from Lucian's Place to solve a classic Sudoku of my choice and you're about to see the result. I enjoyed meeting you Lucian at SudokuCon 2025. Thank you for agreeing to this collaboration. Now friend, solve along with Lucian and see if you can find the Sudoku trick needed to solve this puzzle. Thanks Timberlake. So, some of you may know me, but for those of you who don't, I go by Lucian, and I run the channel Lucian's Place, where I solve the daily gas from the Cracking the Cryptic Discord daily, as well as other Sudoku, whether it be viewer submitted or just puzzles I find on Logic Masters Germany. My focus is generally on variant Sudoku, though I have done a number of classic Sudokus, including some by a name that is very well known to the Smart Hobbies channel, Julian lock. So today we have a classic Sudoku. Timberlake picked this out specifically to play to my strengths but also my weaknesses but we are trying to present a good logical solve for you guys today. If there's any techniques that maybe I just don't immediately know the name of but I use I'm sure that uh, he will make sure that there's a little note or something somewhere to help you guys along and also help me because we are here to learn as we go through this smart hobby together. So, repping the, uh, the merch today, let's just jump into Puzzle 75 from the Pocket Size Sudoku Volume 18 book. <laughs> All right, so... Right off the bat, what are the things that we're looking for? Well, if we're going to be good today, we will look at our pairs and we will do pencil marking. So four, I see double fours down the columns there. Let's continue. Ones, we get the double ones. Um, otherwise, the eights give us eights. I think everything else there's only one of. One, we do get a one. We'll come back to that in a second because I do see we also get a seven there. And the 7 doesn't immediately do anything for me. The 1, get a 1. Ah, something I didn't consider because I wasn't paying enough attention is that we get a 1 pair here, right? If we see this 1 points down, this 1 points across, so we have this set. Between the set, it says that this cannot actually be a 1, which places 1 there. So we've actually accounted for all of our ones in, in that, but we haven't placed them quite yet. So we know it's either one like this or one like this in our, in our X wing. So let's continue through. In the row here, so I have one, two, we actually get a two. Two gives us a two pair, can we do anything better? We do get this little pattern here. I, I I don't always pencil mark this stuff, but I think it could be valuable in this case to pencil mark where the twos can go, just because of you know this this pattern here, this fish thing, whatever whatever this monstrosity is across the board. Then we'll continue. Ones, fives, eights, eights. Look at that. We get some eights there. Doesn't immediately help us, but maybe down the line, right? Always looking for, for pairs and the like. All right. I think that's it for the basic shoots and stuff. So let's look across and see maybe where we have some, some extra digits pointing, like six here, for example, we'll go between these two cells. And actually these same sixes, if we look at where they cross here, gives us a digit six, that gives us six here these two sixes place a six there. That six actually sets the order for the six we just happened to pencil mark. And we get a six here, looking at Sudoku in this box, and six gets placed right smack at dab in the middle there. I think we have accounted for all of our sixes here. So all nine sixes are done. Does that do anything else for us, right? All these new sixes we've placed, we have to make sure that any of the assumptions we made before about 
not pencil marking, actually still hold up. I don't see... Nothing jumps out at me. So we'll continue working through it. For example, here, 347. 347 is something that, I, I guess, in this case, how it plays out here, where this can't be 3, this can't be 7, this can't be 4. This is something that the uh, Sudoku community likes to call a, uh, a chocolate teapot. Um, it's not necessarily helpful in this moment, but it could help us down the line once we place one of these digits, knowing that we'll be able to resolve everything else. The second you, you place one digit in a chocolate teapot, the rest of it collapses. So what I'm looking for right now is I'm trying to scan quickly for maybe just like quadruples or triples that we might be missing. Uh, actually, I see a triple here. Let's look at that before we look at the quadruple. We need 3, 5, and 8. 3, 8 does give us 5. We are left with a 3, 8 pair as a result. And actually 9, something I've noticed here. This is 2, 7, 9, um, which will keep the 9 there, but we will... Do center marking as well? Uh, maybe not. We'll keep it. This might not be the cleanest pencil marking technique. It's more of a uh, pencil marking nightmare, which is actually the name of a Sudoku I set. But anyways, um, hopefully we'll be able to keep this in mind. The 9 here, although it doesn't seem that useful, is now a pointing set. So we get a 9 across here. And actually, the last thing we're missing here is a 5. I didn't mean to remove the 4 from there. So as a result, we actually get like, we have a ton of chocolate teapot-esque sort of things here. This is a chocolate teapot. This is also, a, I guess, a type of chocolate teapot in a way. This is... 2, right? This would be 4, this would be 5, this would be 9. If it's 9, then this is 5, 4, and 2. So we always know... that it just kind of shifts down the line. Can we do anything better with that, though? Maybe thinking about how we stare across, right? This 6 did open up this 3 pair. Seven. Okay, well, let's go back to the quadruples that we were going to look at before we got uh, distracted elsewhere. Actually, wait, even better. We placed this 5, and we didn't think about what this 5 did for us by, excuse me, by Sudoku. Well, 5 actually now is placeable by Sudoku in box 2 here, and we get a 5 pair staring across. We got distracted with all of the pencil marking. We forgot to do Sudoku. Question is, can we do one better? All right, this is a triple now. 379, we know 7937, this is 39. More chocolate teapots haunting us, eluding us. 2349. This is certainly not as restricted. This could be 2, 3, or 9. Just 3 between these cells. Hmm. All right, here, what are we missing? We need 2, 4, 7, and 8. Or 7 is 2, 8. This can't be 7 or 2, so it's 4, 8. Let's uh, let's be good in pencil market. 
four, seven, and two, seven. Again, a type of like chocolate teapot thing. If this is two, immediately it places seven, four, eight. If it's eight, it places four, seven, two. Any single digit collapses the set. Across, we need 3, 4, 9. Thing is, this could be any of them. And so can this. 3, 4, 9, 5. Okay. 3, 9 leaves us with what here? This has to be a 4, 5. Doesn't seem like it should help us that much, but we have a 4, 5 here as well. So that means that we have a 3, 8, 9 there. Triple, 3, 8, 9, and 9. Maybe we could do better. We are also missing 4. So 2 and 4. Look, and this can't be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This cannot be 2 or 4, which means it has to come from what? The set 3, 8, 9. The fact that this has to come from the set 3, 8, 9 means this is a 2, 4 pair, and the 4 gives us 2 here, 4 there, and things are going to start to open up for us. This will be 3, 7, 4. Again, remembering that the chocolate teapot, everything just collapses. So 9, 3, 9, 2, 2, 7. 7 from the column, it's just the 9, right? This is 8 and 2. 2, 3 leaves us with 8, 9. So back to a true chocolate teapot there. Though 2 sets, so again, looking at this, we set our order. So the second we get the 2 here, that places 4. 4 places 5, and 5 places 9. 9, we are left with a triple here, which is 3, 5, and 8. Hmm. I don't necessarily know if I like pencil marking that. For, oh, well, what is this here? Because of the 4, we end up with again we're not uh, we're not tra we're not necessarily being great about tracking our sudoku but we get a 3 9 pair the 3 9 leaves us with a 4 5 and the 4 sets the order this is 5 this is 4 5 3 4 8 9 where does the 4 go this is 3 9 this is 3 8 so many chocolate teapots here Nine. All right, what are we missing across? We need five and eight. We'll actually replace this pointing set because it doesn't help us in this case with just a normal pair. This is a three, nine. And we need one, seven, three, or nine. nine. Hmm. All right, again, we'll come back to that. This is a three, five pair. This is a 5, 3, 8 pair. Because again, this 5 set doesn't help. Five, eight. We still need 7 in the column. Hmm. All right, what's the, what's, the, what's the final piece of the puzzle here? What is going to get us over the edge. Hmm. One, three, seven, nine. It's not necessarily very pretty pencil marking. It's a lot of digits to place. 
This can't be seven. Five, eight, nine is the problem. Wait, one, eight? Mm, no. We'll pencil mark it, right? One, eight, but. This can't be one. So close yet so far. Or as some, some might say close but no cigar. Sevens sets the ones. Seven also sets the ones. This is fed by this, which is fed over here. <laughs> we, we did some crazy stuff to get here, but right at the end, right at the end, we're getting held up. Oh, nine. Folks, did you know that given digits actually matter in your Sudoku? So the second we realize that, we get eight, nine, nine, three, eight, and everything is just going to fall into place. Three, eight, three, nine, nine, three, eight gives us five, eight, five gives us three, five. Um, obviously, this can't be three anymore. With the one going, wait. What are we missing? Oh yeah, eight. Eight, this is nine, and nine does it. This is one, one, seven, nine, fixing the chocolate teapot. Seven, one, one, seven, eight. And finally, to finish us off, we need five and three, and we are done in 15 minutes and 43 seconds with Puzzle 75 by from the Pocket Size Sudoku Volume 18 book. I will, uh, if you're going to like the puzzle, I'll also create a new link with the solution here. And uh, there we go. So... With that, I hope you enjoyed, and I will kick it back to Timberlake. Thank you so much, Lucian, for showing me how you solved this puzzle, and thank you, friend, so much for watching.